yesterday and this morning have been very rough. It seems <coughs> I match all the symptoms for dengue fever. Um, we are going to go to the hospital here in Bali to see if I can get tested and see if that's what it is. We reached out to Made, our driver. Made said we need to get him to the doctor immediately. So Made came and picked us up and took us to the hospital. And it was too early to diagnose dengue fever. You need to test on the fourth day of symptoms. There's a hospital that sends a doctor and a team of nurses out to you, which is fantastic. And they can administer a different type of test, which can catch it early. And so that was how we found out. Um, fever, chills, stomach. If you can believe this, not only did I test positive for dengue fever, I also tested positive for salmonella poisoning. It, although extremely rare, it is possible to get chicken pox <laughs> okay. for the second time. With so I think I got like the Bali trifecta. Um, it feels like COVID on steroids to me. I don't know. I guess it affects people differently. <coughs> But I'm having a very tough time with it. We were told day four and day five are the worst. So far for me, day four has been pretty good overall. I had a rough morning, but the last few hours have been good. The symptoms were at their worst yesterday. We had a great day earlier this week, um, what I now know was day one. And on our way back, as Maude was driving us, took a, a turn for the worse, I was shivering. <coughs> resembled the flu a little bit, like you were really achy, um, and you had severe stomach cramps. I think that was concerning because he was just like doubled over in pain and just yelling out um, and then by by the night I can't, I can't do this it's okay you don't have to yeah Saturday night got bad um, cause today's today's Monday apparently it's severe dengue fever all of my levels from the first blood test were apparently pretty severe. It's just been terrible fever, again, that ranges from both ends, 94 to 102. It's, it's uh, been even lower than that because there's yeah, been so uh, many times where it won't even register. It won't register a temperature. A, a <clears throat> thermometer at all. And I picked up like 939 is the is the lowest. Yeah, it was in the 93s is all we could find. And He'd been really lethargic. Really lethargic. Made had to basically carry my body weight to the car from the hospital and then into back into the villa. So I just I can't say enough about Made and Mercy and what they've meant to our family and what they've done for us. They've been our angels. Yeah. I don't know what we would have done without them because I don't know how I would have gotten him to the hospital and <coughs> where to go and I mean he he was able to translate for us. I never <laughs> thought we would be here right now. I'm super thankful to see Chris upright because that hasn't happened in a couple of days. I told Beck that I wanted to document this because people need to know the dangers in traveling. It doesn't need to all be this Instagram, only the pretty stuff. And you gotta show the struggles too. So today is day five of having dengue fever in Bali. Day four was much better than day three which day three I felt like I was going to die. So anything was um, a step up from that. 
As you can see, the rashes on my face are also starting to finally go away. Uh, this one's pretty bad, I guess. <laughs> There's still a few bad ones left, but overall it looks a lot, a lot better. Um, <coughs> <coughs> I have this weird hiccup thing going on, which I read is uh, can be a side effect. It's very much a roller coaster from one day to the next. We had blood work done again this morning and the blood work looked great it's like the doctor said you feel normal but you're you're still not the virus is still in your body but this morning I you know I thought I was back to my old self so I tried to get up and move around and do some things and that was a mistake because my body wore down and my temperature um, was back at 94 and it's been at 94 again Parts of today felt like day three all over again. Like I just felt like I could die. The medical staff that comes to the villa to help has quite literally saved my life, I truly believe. Dengue fever, I'll say it again and I'll say it until day seven. It's no joke. <laughs> Wear your mosquito repellent every day and use these beautiful big nets back here over your bed so today is day six it has been a much better day today i started to feel much more like myself today um, i told beck that one of the biggest issues with me these last few days of having the fever is um, how clouded my mind has been it makes you very irritable had mood swings, all the things that um, no human wants to feel, especially around their family. Yeah, we're at 95.5, so still not great, but I'll take it over 94. With that comes a lot of clamminess and being just sweaty. I can't stand to just like have a shirt on. But everyone says day seven is the big moment where your body uh, just totally changes and it's like nothing ever happened. So I'm hoping that I can go to sleep tonight, wake up tomorrow and be finally, you know, 90 to 100%. So today is day seven. And just like everyone said and everything I read, I woke up today like nothing ever happened. We had originally planned to go to Ubud for the weekend and so we got an airbnb there we weren't sure if we were going to be able to do it but the way i feel today i feel totally fine uh so we are packing for ubud and beck is packing for ubud and to go back to the states oh for my speech <laughs> your speeches beck's got two speeches so we're gonna go stay in Ubud for three nights and she will leave to the airport, unfortunately. But it looks like dengue fever is behind us. Fingers crossed that nothing else happens for the remainder <laughs> of our Bali travels and we can actually Got enjoy it out Bali. Of the way, I hope so. But anyway, thanks for hanging in there with me through dengue fever.